Okay, we are standing here in uh, all ski center with uh, Bjarne Lin. Uh, this is the second year we are doing um, speed training with Bjarne. And it has always been a, a great pleasure to be here. And the uh, uh, slope is fantastic. And uh, um, all the arrangements are very smooth. And uh, Bjarne promised to tell us a few words about uh, speed training. Um, so thank you, Pierne, uh, at uh, at um, having this interview. Uh, how have you uh, got involved with uh, speed skiing? Well, I've always been very fond of of skiing, but the, in my part of the country we had no alpine hills at all. So I concentrated on the Nordic combination. Um, but. Uh, at the age of, I think it was 21, I had a little little accident, so I couldn't uh, do endurance sport anymore. So, and then I found out that uh, it would be nice to try you know, to go a, a little bit downhill. And it proved that uh, maybe, not to be, uh, to be honest, I, I maybe had a little talent for it. So... And then uh, I was asked by the Norwegian Ski Federation to to take over the ladies team, the ladies of Europe, Europa Cup team, uh, that was way back in 1978, I think. And then uh, we did quite well. And uh, later uh, I took over the, the junior program for the men. And started with the guys like uh, Atlas Gordal, two times uh, world champion in GS and a silver medal in, in the downhill. And then the whole thing was uh, running pretty well for us. And uh, I'm so happy to, to live in this region of Hollingdal where we have this marvelous hill. Um, and actually, uh, this has been uh, the secret of Norwegian success during the 1990s. They did their last preparations before the Olympics and the World Championships always here, and nobody else knew much about it. Yeah, I have to agree that the, that the profile of the slope is, uh, is very good. Uh, uh, I guess all the way to the World Cup racers, but for juniors as well. So you mentioned uh, uh, some racers you've been working with, but uh, um, any any other uh, guys or girls you have been working on on their early years? Yeah, um, in the middle of the 80s, I had a job uh, with the Norwegian uh, Ski Gymnasium. That time was uh, in. Uh, they, uh, they had their base camp in uh, in the close to Oslo, and uh, the guys born 1971. There were Lasse Hughes, uh, Tom Stiansen, Didrik Marksten, and Harald Christian Strandilsen. All of them became uh, really good. World, world class skiers. So, um, um, yeah. So that's a, that's quite impressive uh, experience. Um, what do you think about the people talk a lot that when you, uh, what is the optimal age to start uh, downhilling or speed training? Uh, in your view, um, when should you start? Yeah, well. The guys I talked about were skiing pretty fast all since they were 10, 11 years old and we started to to get the, the movements in high speed uh, automatized with uh, uh, hundreds and hundreds of repetitions gave them a lot of air time we might say in the jumps and the high speed uh, turns uh, and the secret of course is to, to make the right progression so they don't experience uh, 
any kind of fear or, or get scared. Yeah. It's a, it's um, kind of a summarize uh, all that experience. You already mentioned that it's a repetition. It's uh, uh, gradually progressing. It's uh, giving air time with the jumps, uh, getting used to the speed. Uh, those are the important elements in uh, in speed training. Is there anything outside of those those things you would like to bring up uh, uh, as an important issues for for people thinking about speed training? Yeah, I, I think there should be no speed skiing going on without the controlled gates because th those are the tool we have to to regulate the the speed and uh, and really make the progressions the way that we would like to under under control totally under control okay uh, uh, our experience from uh, from uh, this place and, and your camps so to speak has been very uh, very good and uh, we are planning to come here again the next year but if um, if some other Finnish groups would like to come uh, over here, uh, how they um, how they should uh, plan the event, uh, who they should contact? Yeah, uh, the time for the time being, even if I'm an old age pensioner, uh, I would probably be the right man to contact. Uh, I'd give you. Jurki, my telephone number, my uh, mail address, and uh, please don't hesitate to to call or to give me a mail. Okay, thank you, Bjorn, uh, a, a lot of uh, this interview. <laughs>